Good evening, Annapolis Lutheran. Thank you for tuning in to our daily devotions. Uh, we are doing a series called 40 Daily Devotions of God's Comfort. It's a resource from Concordia. We are on day two, and the theme is cross-training. The scripture reading for tonight comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that his grace extends to more and more people and may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Through our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In inspired understatement, the Apostle Paul refers to the trouble and grief we endure as the light momentarily momentary affliction. Light? Momentary? The things we experience do not feel light. We are burdened by the difficulties of daily life, not to mention the extraordinary pain endured during times of crisis. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders and it's all far from momentary. And it's all far from momentary. The pain and hardship may last for months or years or a lifetime. Surely Paul knew better, right? The Apostle Paul was no stranger to suffering. The steadfast missionary for Christ was often persecuted for his faith, arrested, beaten, and imprisoned. He suffered an, undefi an un undefined physical affliction, his thorn in the flesh. Yet God revealed to his apostle the truth of the matter. The affliction we now endure, whatever its source and duration, has a purpose. Our suffering is weight training. For this light momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Awaiting us in eternity is an immense burden of glory and joy that far outweighs the troubles we now face. As athletes lift weights to repair their bodies for competition, and they hope for the glory of victory, so we too are in training. We are preparing to take on certain glory of a victory that is already won. Our Lord Jesus suffered more than a light momentary affliction. He did not bear on his shoulders the weight of the world, but the awful weight of the world's sin. He shouldered his cross and carried its heavy wooden weight along the road to Golgotha. There he bore our sins in his body on a tree. It's First Peter. His affliction, his cross, was the necessary step to glory. Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12. Following our, following our Lord, we too endure, for the joy set before us, the crosses we must now bear. The burden surely wears us down, and the Apostle Paul takes note of this. Our outer self is wasting away. Yet even as we are wearing down, we are being built up by the power of the Holy Spirit at work in word and sacrament. Our inner self is being renewed day by day as we are conformed to the life of our Savior. The things that we see, the things that are seen, the troubles we endure, are transient and quickly pass away. They are momentary when compared with eternity. What is unseen, the glory that awaits, is eternal. God raised Jesus from the dead, and on the last day he will raise us up from our graves. For all eternity we will bear the weight of glory won for us by our Lord's death and resurrection. We're in training now, and we'll be ready. Let us pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, forgive us when we turn from you and rebel against your word and will. Have mercy on us for the sake of Jesus our Savior, who lifted the weight of sin and guilt from us, 
and carry the terrible, terrible burden in his own body to the cross. When our attention becomes fixed only on troubles we see before us, turn our hearts to the glory that is unseen, the glory won for us through Jesus' death and resurrection. Comfort us now in our afflictions, and train us by your Spirit to bear the weight of eternal glory that will be ours through faith in Jesus' name. We humbly pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to our day two devotion of our 40-day devotions of God's comfort. Just a reminder, we're looking to get other folks involved. Uh, Next Wednesday, we have a family lined up to lead this devotion. If you're interested, please let me know. It's a great way for us to stay connected and for other folks to get involved into our ministry. Lastly, there's been a lot of announcements made about allowances for worship services in the state of Maryland. We have decided that we're going to continue with our drive-in worship service just for a few more weeks until we can work out all the details as far as our transition back to a more normal style of worship. But I look forward, in the meantime, to seeing you in our drive-in worship service this Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may he look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good night.